Namaste and welcome to the channel. Today we will be discussing how we can get started with ESP IDF in VS Code and later on we will be uploading a very basic Blinky based example. So let's get to the point. I hope you have VS Code already installed on your system. If not, please do download it first. Once you have the VS Code with you, open it up and in the extensions tab, search for ESP IDF. I already have the IDF extension installed on my VS Code system. If you haven't installed, you can read about all the information that is available on the bottom side of the page and install it. Once the installation process is over, you can have a look that Espressif icon is available on the left hand side panel. Hover to the icon and you will have all the couple of options that you can use for your development of projects. So hover on and click that create a new project. Type in the name that you want to give to the project. I will give it Blinkit. Blinkit. Next on select the project directory that you want the project to be saved on. I already have a ESP projects directory and I will be saving that there. Okay, next uh, don't bother about the ESP IDF board. Uh, I have the basic node MCO type ESP32 board, so I'll keep it this one. Next, uh, we don't have to bother about the serial port. We have to choose the component directory. You can find it in your ESP framework that you installed. So component has basic all the basic files that you would be needing for developing your projects. Next, choose template. Here on select ESP IDF and you can select from n number of examples. We'll just go with a simple blink. So basically this example covers both new pixel kind of LED strips and basic GPIO based LED function. So we won't be bothering with that LED strip. We'll be just good doing a simple GPIO based LED on off. So this board basically has a built in LED on GPIO 2. We'll be using that. All right. Once the project is ready, you can have a look at the main.c file. So it's pretty simple. You have a tag character pointer which is set to example right now. So this basically helps you in monitoring or debugging the code that you have. So this tag is useful in logging the messages. Next up we have the basic functions for whatever type you have selected. LED strip or a normal GPIO LED function. So Next up the main function is pretty simple. You have to configure the LED and then it will blink. So all of this would be selected from the configuration file that is present in this example. Also we have vtash delay function which is nothing but a free RTOS API. Oh, yes, ESP IDF uses free RTOS in the backend just like an RFI to uses Zephyr. We have already covered that in a video earlier. So vtash delay will help us in establishing a certain amount of delay after whatever lines of code. So lines of code is pretty small in this one. We'll just be blinking an LED and then we'll be giving a certain delay. The delay is also set in the configuration file, which is right now set to 1000 millisecond or one second. So the configuration file is already present in the example. All right. Once you are clear with the example, uh, you can hover on to the expressive icon and select ESP IDF terminal from there. All right. So in order to set the basic uh, what can I say params in the configuration we will be choosing the command idf.py menu config and hit enter. So this will basically open a pop up window wherein you can set the example configurations. So in the example configuration you can select the blink LED type which is right now selected to GPIO. Next you have the blink GPIO number and delay. You can change the GPIO number let's say it's right now at 5 I will change it at 4 and then click or type S, hit enter and it will be saved. In order to exit this particular pop-up window, you just need to press escape. All right. So because we have the inbuilt LED on GPIO number two, I'll be saving it finally to number two. In order to build your program, you need to type the command idf.py build. A few moments later. So after waiting for a while, once your build is completed, you need to type the command idf.py p and then the port that is your device is connected to right now my port is com9 and then type flash. 
so this will upload code to your board you can monitor your code using the onboard serial output from this ESP32 module and for that you need to enter the command idf.py then p and that com right now it's com9 and monitor you can combine both of this command together flash and monitor and in that way you can flash the code and immediately after that monitor the code so this was the basic overview of ESP IDF with VS Code hope it was something new for you and you learned something out of it keep supporting the channel and subscribe like and share thank you